Hello, my name is Dan Faria, and I am the IUID Label Specialist here at A to B Tracking. What information do you need to provide if you need to meet the MIL Standard 130 compliance requirement? Well, the first thing you need to do is to type the format. If you're going to use a Construct 1 format, you're going to need the cage code and serial number. Using a Construct 2 format, you're going to need the cage code, part number, and serial number in order to meet that compliance. If you have any questions about this or any other IUID challenges, feel free to reach out to us. Remember, it's important to get it right the first time. While you can always correct any IUID errors down the road, it's not a fun process and it adds additional cost to your business. So getting it right that first time is key to meeting this requirement.